Today we are looking at the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Hulk. Um, we have seen this mold a few times. Here's the front of it. And here is the back of it. Now with these 20th Anniversary line, uh, you do get a little stand and a little backdrop piece. Um, let's see how this Hulk stacks up with the others. So with this Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary series, they are, they are celebrating 20 years of Marvel Legends, of course, through Hasbro taking it over from Toy Biz. Um, and so with that, we get this homage to back to Toy Biz, you know, with Marvel Legends, that retro logo, as well as this Series 1 Hulk issue. And you flip it over to the back side, and we get a, like a wall that like, Hulk or Juggernaut might have smashed, but in this case, Hulk. Um, and that is also an homage to the original uh, Marvel Legends Hulk, where he came with a uh, brick base with a hole. All right, so yeah, there's that. We got MODOK, Leader, Rhino, Jug, Abomination on there. All right, moving on to other accessories. We do get this alternate head sculpt. Um, and, you know, he has more of the shag hair, and we have some nice green paint on there. And comparing the two head sculpts here, one's more... Well, they're both angry because it's Hulk, but one's more wide open and one's more closed. And to go along with those open hands, of course, we are going to need some Hulk smash hands. So we're getting left and right just fists. And we're also getting this piece, uh, which is a Mandroid piece. Uh, they have released Mandroid before as a Build-A-Figure. And this is the exact same piece head to that Mandroid Build-A-Figure. So you could attach this to your mandroid bath and you know i wasn't too excited for this hulk figure at the beginning uh just because we've gotten a hulk we've gotten a green hulk red hulk gray hulk there's so many different hulks now with the same mold but this accessory honestly just looks phenomenal like just for this accessory alone i'm glad i got this figure uh the nice green effect piece going on around there and smash and just the the sculpt and detail on this you know, smash concrete. I feel like you can get some dynamic poses with this. Um, and it, man, this thing makes it all worth it. All right. So taking a closer look at Bruce here, um, we, we have a ball joint here. Uh, it can move that far down, that far up. You can rotate side to side. Uh, the hair, the shaggy hair kind of gets in the way of it. Um, but the arms, we do get... An amazing butterfly joint that it can go just an amazing all like that's that's phenomenal that that butterfly joint on this Hulk figure it always has been um, there is a single elbow can go that far we have double jointed knees and these double jointed knees can go about that far legs can go that far back this far forward uh ankle and rocker as usual on all these marvel legend figures hinge and swivel on wrist uh ball joint in the torso can't go that much back he can go kind of forward and yeah that does it for the articulation uh, here he is on this phenomenal display stand it has two pegs definitely can hold the figure tight in there and you can get some crazy poses i would say you know him smashing with his foot, uh, him smashing with his hand, him smashing another Marvel Legend down on the ground. Uh, this base is really cool. And as you can see, it holds it very tightly as it's spinning. No issues with it falling off whatsoever. Moving on to comparisons here. Here we have the very first Marvel Legends Hulk from the Hulk vs. Wolverine 2 pack. As you can see, the big difference is, of course, is the head sculpt. This one definitely has a more shaggy haircut and the shades of color on the pants as well as skin tone. This one's definitely a darker green and the pants are a lighter purple. So it's kind of the inverse. Uh, one thing I do appreciate with this 20th anniversary Hulk, you know, we do get both uh, highlights and shadows on both greens. So there is kind of a three tone green going on both figures, even though one's dark and one's lighter. But this... Uh, Extra white paint, um, kind of, you know how on the inside it's a different color when jeans are uh, reversed out, right? That is a, a definite improvement and 
a nice extra detail that they added with this new Hulk. Next up, we have Diamond Select's Planet Hulk. This Hulk is definitely a lot larger as Diamond Select runs 7 inch scale. Um, it's definitely a lot slimmer. Um, one thing I do like about this Marvel Legends Hulk is just the width of the shoulders. I like my Hulk a um, little chunky, a little beefy, have, having those nice broad shoulders. Next up, here we have She Hulk from the A Force pack. Uh, definitely a nice scale. You know, She-Hulk is a, a lot taller than most Marvel Legends, uh, most six-inch male and female Legends, as she should be. But she's definitely still shorter than Hulk, so a good size. Next up, we have the 20th anniversary cap to go along with this 20th anniversary Hulk. Um, I think an overall great size. You know, we've gotten now 20th anniversary Iron Man cap and Hulk. Most likely, they will do a 20th anniversary Thor. Um, to complete the original Avengers, well, the big four Avengers. So you actually can get a Marvel Legends 6-inch figure in his gripping hand pretty tightly um, and get him displayed with that. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. My overall thoughts with this figure, I think if you have the original Hulk from the 2-pack, you could pass on this. Um, what gets it for me, though, is that rock effect piece. Um, I think it's just worth it for me just for that rock effect piece. But if you have the original Hulk, I think there's no need to get this. This is an easy pass. Um, this has been the Collecting Brothers, guys. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other toy reviews and as well as our weekly video where we talk about all the new toy news of upcoming 6-inch action figures. Thank you.